Right, in this section, we're going to show you how to waterproof a swimming pool. Um, this can be an old concrete swimming pool. It can be a, an old fiberglass pool that is cracked up. It can be any kind of pool whatsoever that still will hold its shape. Um, we have taught this method to several different pool contractors and several different pool contractors were, already, contractors were already using this method before and they buy their supplies from us. It's fairly simple. It's, it's a lot of work, but instead of trashing an old pool, you can, act, you can save your pool, you can do it yourself, and this is how you're going to do it. This is 1.5 ounce chop strand mat. The ingredients that we're going to use is 1.5 ounce chop strand mat, polyester resin, and gel coat. Some people use a different kind of resin, but if you use the high grade gel coat that we use, the gel coat is so hard that the water and chemicals never make it through the gel coat to touch the resin. So it doesn't matter. I mean, you, you know, as long as you're using a good grade resin, it doesn't matter that you're using regular polyester resin because the gel coat that we use, it's 10 pounds per gallon instead of 9 pounds per gallon. It's so hard. Believe me, we've been doing this for years with very good success. So, let's get started. What you do, this box is going to represent a swimming pool. As we said, concrete, fiberglass, any kind of swimming pool that's in bad shape. We have here, this is one layer on top of another of 1.5 ounce chop strand mat. What you do is you pre-cut these pieces of 1.5 ounce chop strand mat so that they go five inches down to onto the bottom. They overlap five inches down onto the bottom and they overlap onto the top. Whatever kind of top you have on the pool, you're going to have to decide how far you want it to overlap out. But the reason that you want it to overlap out here is so that water will not get up underneath. It doesn't matter if you have a surface like metal or if it's, or if it's fiberglass, you don't have to concern yourself with whether the, the uh, polyester resin is adhering to the pool because the water is going to be pressing against the, um, against the fiberglass and holding it against the pool wall. When you do your second, when you do your next layer, you're going to overlap it about one inch. Do you see how we did that? We overlapped it about one inch. Here it's a little bit exaggerated because we're doing it in, in a larger style, but you're going to go around the pool just like your water, just like you're wallpapering it. You're going to go section by section by section. You're going to do one layer of 1.5 ounce chop strand mat. Right on top of that, you're going to do a second layer of 1.5 ounce chop strand mat saturated with polyester resin. Then you move over, you do a second one. People say, are you going to see the overlaps? By the time you do the two coats of gel coat, you're not going to see the overlaps. So you keep going around and around. For the corners, you're going to cut, pe you're going to cut the pieces of this for the corners about 8 inches. And you're going to do the corners you're going to do corner pieces around eight inches. You can do that before the first coat. You can do it after the two coats. It really doesn't matter because it's going to be underneath the gel coat in the end. So just imagine going section by section by section, working your way all the way around until you've done the entire pool. And then, you know, it doesn't, make it, doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out the next step. Then you do the floor. The floor is the easiest part because you can pour, you can just lay the resin down like a carpet over top of this overlap. You lay the uh, first layer down of one point, again, you're gonna do two layers of 1.5 ounce chop strand mat. You're gonna lay down your first layer 1.5 ounce chop strand mat, saturate that with polyester resin. As, while it's still wet, if you can, and if not, it doesn't matter. Lay down the second layer 1.5 ounce chop strand mat and then saturate that with polyester resin and move to your next section. Once you have the entire pool done, you've got at least two or three days while it's going to remain tacky. This is something that we did yesterday and it's still good and tacky. 
um, you're going to do your gel coat and the way you're going to do the gel coat is here's the gel coat that we use this is you can feel the weight of this if you go to a, any boating supply store you're going to get consumer grade gel coat this is professional grade gel coat 10 pounds per gallon it has much more solids in it and nothing is going to get through this not chemicals not anything and this is how you do it you're going to do the first layer you can thin down 10 to 15 percent with acetone and you're just going to mix it with the acetone always use hardener we had a customer the other day who did a layer with a hardener the whole back of the can all it does is explain how to you know mix the hardener and never ever use polyester resin or gel coat without hardener so you can thin this down for your first coat your first coat of gel coat can be very thin after you've finished you know uh, doing the the uh, polyester resin and 1.5 ounce shop strand mat on the pool you can do a thin down coat for your first coat only hardener no wax you do the entire pool that way you let that uh, dry you let that finish then for the second coat you can thin it but not as much it's better you to use it full strength or only thinned five percent but you're going to add the ingredients wax um, when you get gel coat in the five gallon uh, containers it, the wax comes in a much bigger container you add the wax first and mix that in very very well then you add acetone if you want to thin it down just a little bit for the second coat and then you add the hardener for the second coat the first coat you can roll it on as thin as you like for the second coat you want a nice medium coat just like you're rolling paint on a wall a nice medium coat for your second coat with the wax in it as the resin is curing the wax rises to the surface creating it, it, it creates a microscopic air barrier that causes the resin to cure to 100 percent and I mean I've, I've demonstrated to people with our resin taking a hammer and a wrench or a wrench and and banging on it you can't make a crack in it this our polyester uh, gel coat is so hard this only comes in white um, we do have a gray tint that you can get for it um, that's on the website um, you can tint it to gray and we'll talk about that later but after you do the second coat of gel coat that has the wax in it the next day it's going to be hard as a rock I tell people um, you should wait one day for each layer that you've put down before you put water into the swimming pool now here you've got two layers so that's two days then you're doing two layers of gel coat that's two more days so that would give you four days I think if you're it would be safe to put water in the pool within three days we had someone put water in the pool after 12 hours and it was not good you have to let you know you have to let this cure you have to let this harden up all the layers that you're doing um, if, if there if you're if there's you know if you're doing a layer one day and then a layer the other day then maybe you can put water in the pool after 48 hours I wouldn't just be safe wait three days before putting water in the pool that's pretty much it if you have any questions you can email them to me but that is how you save an old swimming pool no matter what it's made of two layers 1.5 ounce chop strand mat two layers of gel coat the first unwaxed the second waxed and that's how you do it